hi friends welcome to this scenario where we are going to configure uh, static mat so in this scenario we have two PC A and B which are connected to an access switch and this is our gateway uh, the local area connectivity is based on the subnet of 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 you can use slash 24 here and uh, Terms of the NAT language, we will be specifying this as our inside local. This is the gateway where the NAT translation will happen. So this will translate all the internal IP addresses into the public IP address. So for the public IP address, we have 32 minus 28, which gives us 4. And if you want to find the number of fours, so it would be 2 to the power 4 minus 2, which would be equal to 16. So 16, sorry, 16 minus 2, which is equal to 14 host. So we can configure 14 host with the uh, one to one mapping because we are going to map a static NAT here. But we are going to do it only for the two PCs. So to configure the static NAT, you have to first define. Uh, you can say the inside local interface and the inside global interface so the packet will be coming will be coming on this interface and will be exiting from this interface after the translation so you can say this is before translation and this is after translation and this is where the translation will happen so let's configure i have configured all the ip addresses i have created a static route so this is the loopback IP which will be simulating the internet so I have configured a static route which allows me to reach to this uh, loopback IP address now let's go to the gateway okay so we we'll config so to map a uh, static NAT I have to configure IP NAT inside you have to get source and you have to specify static that you are going to define a static NAT relationship this would be the NAT inside local IP address and the next which one you will type is your NAT inside global IP address so I will just create another NAT so then I will assign the interfaces for net 1.0 sorry 0 0.1 this would be IP net inside and interface gigabit ethernet 0, 0 0.0 this would be IP net outside so let's see show IP interface B We have two interfaces, Gigabit Ethernet 00. This is the this one. It has IP address 5.5.5.1 and it is up. The second one is Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1, which is this one, and it has 10.10.10.1. To check if NAT is configured, you can type show IP NAT translations. So you can see I have inside global inside local and outside local and outside global so let's try to reach various IP addresses from the PC so if I want to ping 10.10.10.1 you can see I'm able to reach my gateway next I will try to go to this interface it's okay now I will try to ping 30.1.1.1 this is the internet but before I do I want to show you here the translation okay so let's this is PCB Oops, PCB again. This is PCA. 
so let's minimize PCB for the time being so I have just did an ICMP ping now if I see the translation you can see the protocol is ICMP and and the inside global that is the this insert interface here from 5.5.1 to this interface we have 50.1.1.1 okay then we have the port number 41 and this is the inside local port number 41 and this is the outside local and outside global so this is the IP which is being pinged this is you can say uh, the same IP address for outside local and outside global now if we see this you will clearly understand what NAT is all about as this is a static NAT uh, what I will do I will try to ping from here Let me try to ping from now if I see our router again the gateway you will see it has been updated with first it was one now it is dot two so this will show that it is the traffic is coming from the second interface now let's see the simulation we're using the help of the packet tracer I have just Executed ping command, and you can see this ping is going here. Once it reaches the gateway, <coughs> now here this packet we will see. So you see, IP here is 50.1.1.2, and destination IP address is this one. So if you check the inbound PDU, you will see in the IP, the IP is used for this one. But if you check this packet here, you will see the IP is being used for the, in this you can say the inside local IP address. So our NAT translations are working fine. Uh, let's see this interface, gateway, access gateway, this one here. So you can see here. IP header source IP is this one and destination IP is this one so at the router the translation is happening once it is sending to the exit interface I hope this simulation will make uh, the things clear for the static NAT configuration we can assign one to one static NAT for multiple IP addresses but the limitation is we should have uh, sufficient sufficient number of public IP addresses for the use of all the hosts available in our network hope it is clear and thanks for watching this video have a great day